Let's make a Morphing Wavetable Pad with Serum's Additive Editor. Bring Serum up on a MIDI track in your door and click the pen icon in the OSC A panel. This brings up the Wavetable Editor. At the top of this screen, you'll see the FFT Editor. This allows us to create our own wave shapes with additive synthesis. Drag up on bin 1, the first column, and the existing sawtooth will be replaced with a new waveform. Because we've only added the first harmonic, this will be a simple sine wave. Right click the FFT editor and select Generate Saw. This gives us a straight up sawtooth waveform with energy on both odd and even harmonics, which will do as a jumping off point for our patch. Next, click the plus icon in the thumbnail overviews at the bottom of the wavetable editor. This adds another frame to our wavetable with the same wave shape as the first. Right click the FFT editor and select shift octave up. This gives us a sawtooth and octave up from the root note, simple enough. Now click the plus button again to add another frame. This time right click the FFT editor and select create random series gaps. This will remove harmonics at random, giving us a more jagged lo-fi waveform. Add one more frame, and this time right click the editor on bin 10 and select clear HF bin 10 to end. This essentially acts as a low pass filter, smoothing out the top end. Now click the morph menu and select morph spectral. Click the cross at the top corner of the screen to close it. Turn OSC A's WT pause knob all the way down, then right click it and select Mod Source LFO1. Make sure the mini knob at the top left of the WT pause knob is turned all the way up, and you'll hear the wavetable morph between the four frames we've created. <laughs> Turn Envoine's attack and release times up and finally activate the FX section's delay and reverb. 